guys welcome back to storybook crochet in today's video we are going to be making this little football and this is perfect with the Super Bowl coming up this Sunday uh, we're big Chiefs fans in this house let me know in the comments below which team you're rooting for for this weekend's Super Bowl all right so to get started you're gonna need a brown yarn I am using the I love this yarn brand from Hobby Lobby I'm gonna be using the lighter color brown in this a tutorial so you can see it better I did use a little bit darker color and I believe this was cinnamon that I used um, in this football so the one I'm using right now is let's see I believe it's toasted almond okay and this is a worsted yarn a weight uh, size medium uh, size 4 yarn and you're gonna need some white as well you will need a small amount of black um, yarn or thread to sew the mouth on if you're wanting a mouth you're going to need some safety eyes, and these are size 15 millimeter safety eyes, but um, any size would work, I think, on this uh, little football. So you're going to need two of those, a stitch marker, a yarn needle, some scissors, and I am using a F hook. You are also going to be needing uh, some fiber fill. So let's gather all of our supplies and we will get started. Okay, so to get started, we're going to start off with a magic ring. So go ahead and form your ring here. And then we're going to make six single crochets into our ring. So chain one, and then you're just going to put your six single crochets directly into your ring here. All right, once you have your six made, you're going to just pull that tail to close that opening. Okay, so we are gonna be working in the round, so we will not slip stitch at the end of each round and join. We're just gonna continue working around. So you'll start in that first stitch that you made. For round number two, we are going to increase around. So we're gonna put two single crochets in each stitch that we made from round one. So into that first stitch, we're gonna make two single crochets, and then into the next stitch, we'll make our two single crochets. So you'll continue that around, putting two single crochets in each stitch, and you'll have a total of 12 single crochets at the end of round number two. Okay, so I put my stitch marker at the end of each round. Some people put theirs at the beginning. It just depends on what you prefer and where you put that stitch marker. But you'll want to start using that to keep track of your rounds. So for round three, we're going to start off by making an increase in the first stitch. So we'll put our two single crochets in our first stitch. And then we're just going to put one single crochet in the second stitch. And that's the pattern we're going to repeat around. So you'll increase, make your two single crochets, and then one single crochet in the stitch after that. So continue that around, your increase, and then your one single crochet until the end of round number three, where you will have a total of 18 single crochets made. All right, moving on for rounds four and five, we're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, and this is going to start to um, form our um, shape that we're wanting for the tips of our football. So as you're going around, it'll start to kind of cup like that. So again, just one single crochet in each stitch around for the next two rounds. That's rounds four and five. So you will also have 18 um, stitches at the end of each of these rounds. So I will meet you at the end of round five. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to just trim this uh, short tail here from the center to get that out of my way. So for round number six, we're going to start with an increase. So put your two single crochets into that first stitch there. And then we're going to put one single crochet over the next two stitches. So the same pattern as we were before, just we're just doing two this time. So that's the pattern that we'll work around. So make your increase and then two single crochets. 
At the end of round number six, you will have a total of 24 single crochets made. So I will meet you at the end of this round. Okay, moving on to round number seven, we're just gonna put one single crochet in each stitch around for round number seven. So go ahead and complete this round and at the end of round number seven, we will be changing to our white color for our first stripe on our football. Okay, so for round eight, we're gonna go ahead and change to our white. So in that last stitch from round seven, you're gonna go ahead and insert your hook and pull up your loop. Okay, and then you're gonna grab your white and you're going to pull that through both of your loops there. Okay, and you kind of have to pull on those and tighten them a little bit. And then I crochet over these tails here just to kind of secure them in there. So to start off round number eight with our white, we're gonna start with an increase. So put two single crochets and then you might wanna adjust those tails again um, just to make sure everything's good and tight there so your stitches don't look off. Okay, so after our increase, we're going to make three single crochets. So one, two, and three. And that is the pattern that we'll repeat around for round number eight. And after this round, you're gonna have a total of 30 single crochets made. So I will meet you back at the end of round eight and we will continue on with our pattern. All right, for round nine, we're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch around. And this will be our last white round for the first stripe. So go ahead and make all your single crochets around, just one in each stitch. And you will again have a total of 30 single crochets made for round number nine. Okay, for round number 10, we're going to go ahead and change our color again. So for that last stitch in round number nine, we're gonna pull up our loop and then we're going to grab our brown here and pull that yarn through both of those loops. Okay, so now for round number 10, we are going to increase in our first stitch and then we're going to single crochet one in each over the next four stitches. Okay, so just repeat that pattern around, increase, and then four single crochets for round number 10. And after this round, you will have a total of 36 single crochets made. Okay, moving on to round 11, we're just gonna put one single crochet in each stitch around for this round. So again, that's gonna give you a total of 36 single crochets for the end of round number 11. All right, moving on to round number 12, this will be our last increase round. So we're gonna start with an increase in the first stitch and then we're going to make five single crochets. Okay, so just repeat that pattern around. So increase and then five single crochets. At the end of round number 12, you'll have a total of 42 single crochets made. All right, moving on to rounds 13 through 22. This will be a total of 10 rounds. You're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch around. So again, like I said, that's 10 rounds, rounds 13 through 22. So go ahead and make all those rounds and we will meet back at the end of round 22 to start to finish off the other side of our football. This is what it looks like so far, okay? So go ahead and finish off those rounds, 13 through 22, one single crochet in each stitch around, and we will meet back at that point to finish off our football. Okay, so this is what your football should look like at this point. So moving on to round number 23 is gonna start our first decrease round. So we're gonna decrease over our first two stitches here. So I'm gonna show you real quick how to do that if you're not familiar with that process. So you're gonna insert your hook into the first stitch there. You're gonna pull up a loop 
and then you're going to insert your hook into the second stitch next to it, pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook at this point. You're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through all three loops. So we just turn those two stitches into one and that makes our first decrease. So the pattern for this round, round number 23, is going to be a decrease and then five single crochets. Just repeat that around so you're going to decrease and then make your five single crochets. So repeat that around for round number 23 and then you will have a total of 36 single crochets made. All right, moving on to round 24, we're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch around. So again, for this round, you will have a total of 36 single crochets made. <clears throat> All right, so for round 25, we are going to decrease over the first two stitches. And then we're going to single crochet over the next four stitches. Okay, so just repeat that pattern around, decrease, and then four single crochets. You'll have a total of 30 single crochets at the end of round number 25. And then after this, at the end of this round, we will be switching back to our white color. Okay, so before we move on to our next white color round here, we're going to go ahead and put on the face. I'm not going to put a face on this one, but I'll show you how I did put this one. So you want to put your eyes in first, but you want to make sure that you have the same amount of rows on each side of your eyes for your placement. So I did five rows in on this side and five rows on this side. So you'll place your eyes and that leaves about four rows in between, um, depending on your eye size. If you have uh, larger or smaller eyes, it may, be, it may look like um, more space in between that. So then I went ahead and took some white yarn and lined the eyes and then some black yarn and drew or sewed on the um, smile there. So you can kind of play around with it and see how you want your face to look on there if you're going to put one on. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our white yarn and we will move on to our next round. All right, so moving on to round number 26, let's grab our white yarn and go ahead and get that attached. And for round 26, we're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, so go ahead and finish off round 26 and we will move on to our second row of our white yarn before we finish off the tip of our football. Okay, moving on to round number 27 is our next decrease round. So we're going to decrease over the first two stitches. And then we're going to single crochet in the next three. All right, so again, that's decrease over the next two and then single crochet in the next three. So let's finish off this round. And then at the end of this round, you will have a total of 24 single crochets. After we complete this round, we're going to go ahead and grab our fiber fill and go ahead and start stuffing our football. Okay, so here's what our football should look like at this point. So now you're going to want to grab your fiber fill and go ahead and get your football stuffed pretty firmly. And then we'll continue to add a little bit more in the last few rounds of the football to finish that off so that it's stuffed evenly. So go ahead and do that part and then we'll meet back and we will be changing to our brown yarn. Okay, so we have our football stuffed now. So we're going to grab our brown yarn and go ahead and get that attached. And then for round number 28, we're just going to single crochet one in each stitch around. And it's kind of hard with the fiber fill sticking out here so you just want to make sure you kind of push that back if you have your sticking out. Okay so one single crochet in each stitch around and this will give you a total of 24 single crochets for this round. 
All right, so for round 29, we're gonna start with a decrease over the first two stitches, and then two single crochets. So one single crochet in each of the next two stitches here. Okay, so decrease, and then two single crochets. And this is gonna give you a total of 18 stitches at the end of this round. Okay, so for the next two rounds, we're just gonna put one single crochet in each stitch around. So this will be rounds number 30 and 31. So one single crochet in each stitch around for the next two rounds. Each round will be a total of 18 single crochets. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some more uh, fiber fill to the end of the football here until you get the shape <clears throat> that you're wanting. Okay, so finish that off and then we will do our last two rounds of our football. All right, moving on to round number 32, we're gonna start with a decrease over the first two and then just one single crochet after that. Okay, so decrease, and then one single crochet. So this will give you a total of 12 single crochets at the end of round number 32. Okay, so for our last round, we are just going to decrease around six times. So just put your first decrease over the first two and then make another decrease right after that. So you'll have a total of six decreases and then um, we'll meet back here and I will show you how to finish this off and then we're going to grab our white yarn to sew on the laces at the top. Okay, so we've done our last stitch. So the next thing you're gonna do is slip stitch to that next stitch on the football to finish this off. Okay, so pull that out a little bit and go ahead and cut your yarn. And then you're going to want to grab your yarn needle. And then we're just going to weave through the stitches here. So you'll come in one and out the next. And you'll do that around until that cinches that end closed. Okay, like that. And then you're going to want to weave this end in. So you'll just come up through kind of the side here that a little bit and then weave it through a few of the stitches here all right and then cut that off all right so this is what our football looks like at this point so and let's grab our white yarn next and we'll get those laces sewn on all right so to sew the laces on what I do is I just come up through this white part and then maybe like three rows in on the brown, bring your yarn up. And you're just going to sew this like normal um, for your stitches. So the first thing we're going to do is make our long stitch across the football. Okay, so you're just going to kind of decide where you want your line to be at and then come up through there and pull that tight. Okay, and just come up to the end here where you want the line. Just make sure that it's straight as you're doing it. Sometimes those stitches can kind of, um, they go, to, you know, more to the side. So you got to make sure that you've got it straight. Okay, and then come back up through that last one that you just came up through. And then we'll start making our little side stitches. Okay, so now we're going to want to make our stitches that go across the football here. Okay, so you're going to kind of come up where you want your first one to be. And then you're just going to sew across. And then come back up where you want your next one to be. Okay, just like that. So go ahead and finish off your laces here and then I just weave my ends in through the white part so that that won't show. 
All right, guys, our football is finished. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this pattern. I also have a new super thanks button below if you want to support my channel in that way as well. Thanks for watching and crocheting with me today, and I will see you in the next video.